G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today, I'm going to show you how I use Zimrider and Page Optimizer Pro to rank on Google. So as you can see behind me, I'm ranking in position two for carpet cleaning SEO. This is done by using the method that I normally use with Zimrider with Page Optimizer Pro. And I'm going to show you exactly how I achieve this. Check this out for yourself. I might be in position, you know, four, five, six, whatever it may be, but it's on the first page for this keyword and it's Zimrider and the method I show you today. So let me show you what exactly I do. First things first, you need to identify the target keyword. Are you going after carpet cleaning SEO? Are you going after anything else? That's essentially what you want to do. You've got to make sure that you really go after the, the target keyword. So you're going to need Page Optimizer Pro. Now, for you that do not know Page Optimizer Pro, you've never used it before, I have a massively in-depth video of it. That's going to be linked up above. Go and check that out if you don't know how to get to this stage where I'm at right now. But I'm assuming that you do know how to use Page Optimizer Pro and you just want my secret to ranking on Google easily. So what you need to do is you need to essentially run the report. Reports run. Done. We're finished. Okay. Next step what you're going to need to do is export the data from POP. Now, this is how I do it. This is how I get the team to do it. So you'll come down, let's scroll down, scroll down. This is where it says subheadings, okay? Now, there's two things that you can do. Depending upon how serious the article is to you, how much you want that to rank, that carpet cleaning for me, that's this method, like very basic, very basic. It's not gone into massive detail. 5% was human intervention. So it's done quite well. But when you see here, what you can do is essentially look at your competitors. So if you do have that target keyword, I would strongly suggest you do a little bit of manual work. You have a look at your competitors, see how many H2s are there working. But as you can sort of see, the sort of range, term ranges, 12, 22, it's, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. Now, if you want more information, you can always come over to the additional stuff up here so you can have a look into customs. But again, like I said, guys, like you can come down your to-do list. You can come down to all of this. You can see how many you need to have. It's saying that we need at least 12 H2s. But again, that's back on the traditional list. And that's a little bit in depth. But you can start to get a, of an idea, a bit of an idea of how many H2s that you really, really need, how many headers you actually need. So that's fantastic. So what do we do from here? Well, this is what I start doing. Come down to where it says download as text. So you wanna click that button. So that's for subheadings, all right? And then you wanna go down where it says main content, go down there as well. Download as text as well. So that's what we wanna do. We wanna grab that. Now you might be able to see this, but they're saved as text files. So the next thing you're going to need to do is export that data from Page Optimizer Pro just into a Google Sheet. You can do it Excel, whatever you want to do. But let's open this up. So I don't know, you might be able to see this or not on the screen. So it's going to open up like that with all those ugly, ugly headers. I paste it in here like this. So paste that in there. Let's get rid of that one. Let's grab the brief. Control C. Now I paste it with a bit of a gap, bit of a gap, not too much of a gap, just a nice little gap. Now you want to highlight the column. So let me just remove this so I can make sure that this thing is still running fine and you guys can see what I'm seeing. So I remove, I want to remove all of these brackets, obviously. I want to get rid of it all. So highlight the column, go data, split text to columns. Click on that. Now what's going to happen is this little box is going to pop up. You need to go to custom and then throw in the left parentheses. So throw that in there and then voila, there you go. Now you have clean data. Okay. So now what do we do? Well, we need Zimrider opened up. We need to input the pop information and place it into Zimrider. So let's do that. Now let's go down to Zim. Let's open this bad boy up. I'll move this up here for you so you can see it. Apologize if it zoomed out a little bit, guys. It's just how it is with this thing. I can't make it bigger for you. Now, you do want to go into the SEO blog writer. So click on that. All right. 
and it's going to bring up this now this is the new so <laughs> i recorded the review then they brought out another new version so remember what was said previously in page optimizer pro how many sections did we need for the headings well it's saying in between 12 to 22 but like i said look at your competitors or come into custom go across into to do list and then scroll down and it'll say you need well h2s you're going to need at least 12. you know so you can't add h3s and thankfully now in the new thing you can uh but it's entirely up to you so now that i know this or now that we know this let's bring this bad boy back up so we want to grab I want to grab this, paste this back in here. So in the title, how many H2s do we need? Well, we need at least 12. So let's do that. Now you hit enter, I believe, and it comes back. Yeah, there we go. Have had some dramas with that, to be honest, guys. Um, it has crashed on me a little bit. <laughs> so what you need to do now is grab all of this information here. And I grab even the even the title let's grab that come back to this bad boy paste that in there okay so paste that in there and then we want to go option three generate so it's automatically generating all of the uh the headers now this will take a little little bit of time so we can scroll through now this should be pulling in these keywords okay now what you can do so depending upon how serious you want to get, obviously this might use as an example clean too many times. You'll need to look at page optimizer pro, but to be completely honest, I just do it this way first. Because it's easy. It's easy. So throw this stuff into there first. Yep, happy days, no worries. Looks cool. Cool bananas, no worries. Yeah, awesome. Now, actually links, yep, voice. What do we want to have? Very personal. Uh, enable list. I like the list. Don't like the tables. Enable FAQs if you want, but I think it's better if you use your own FAQs. You do your own research there. I think they're going to stick a bit better. That's just what I'm finding at this point in time. So I have tr been trying this for quite some time on the PBNs and on the cheeky websites we build. That stuff right there, it's enabled. Uh, enable T's, boost chance of detection for real, definitely. Now, audience, you can go creator, right in the style of an experienced um, business owner of a pressure washing company. All right. So, do, 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 section there. Okay. Now we're at our keywords. So what do you do here? Exactly this. So grab all of your keywords, okay? Grab all of your keywords, come back up, paste that information into there. Now with this new feature here, you can obviously use uh, DaVinci. I still run with DaVinci, uh, GPT-4 and 3.5 Turbo. I just run with DaVinci. I found that's the best model to be completely honest with uh, content creation. So now we start the Zimrider article process. So that's what we do. So obviously this is going to take a little bit of time, but it's that simple. That's it. What I would do from here, now whether this is finished in time or not, you've got the concept. What I would do is I come back in. So let's go back to the content brief. I'll come back in and actually go in and then throw that in. And that's when you want to clean up your H2s. So as an example, something that is going to happen if we have a look at the subheadings, it's saying to use what thing once. House once. I can guarantee in that article is probably going to mention house like six times. So you're going to be op over optimized. So you are going to have to clean it up. But this is how I use Zim Writer and Page Optimizer Pro to do quite well with minimal effort. Now, if you've gained value, you're going to use my method. Make sure that you like and subscribe. You return that favor. If you guys want access to Page Optimizer Pro, Zim Rider, or anything like that, the links will be displayed down below. And I hope to see you around. Cheers.